All right, our nav mesh is set up. We've got our navigation points. We're pretty much set to go. The next thing is just to tell Kismet to start spawning in our crowd agents. So I'm going to jump into Kismet. And we need some sort of an event to cause this to happen. And for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to use a level loaded. So let's right click, choose new event, and grab level loaded. Now, the sequence object we need to spawn in our crowd agents can be found under new action, crowd, and you want to grab the UT crowd spawner. Now this has several different properties you need to be aware of. The first and foremost, most important, is agent archetypes. This is why we created that archetype from the UT crowd agent actor early on. We've got to plug it into here. Now currently it has no items, so we need to click the add a new item button and we get index zero. And if we expand that, you can see the agent archetype field. Now I'm gonna go find our archetype. It's buried over here in the content browser and it's currently selected. So let's jump into Kismet once again, which I only minimized apparently. And we'll just click the Use Current Selection and Content Browser button, and there we go. Now, this Agent Archetypes property that I've added this new entry into allows you to add as many archetypes as you want and control the frequency that each archetype will be spawned. So if you want more of a particular type of agent to be spawned, you can just increase its frequency or decrease the frequency of others. If you have several different archetypes that all need to be using the same frequency, you don't need to create a separate agent archetype entry. You can actually just add that archetype to the grouped members field underneath a single archetype, and they'll all work off the same frequency. All right, let's take a look at some of the other properties here. If we scroll down, we've got cast shadows. Sure, let's go ahead and switch that on. Uh, let's see, enable crowd light, uh, light environment. That's exactly... Uh, what we need right now because if we bring these in they're not going to be lit they'll just be like silhouettes with some emissive parts and that's that's no good so now moving down from here only spawn hidden is very useful that's why it's on by default what this means is if we're looking at the spawn point no agents will actually spawn which is cool because it helps to keep from breaking the illusion that these guys are actually coming from somewhere you don't want the player to ever really see these actors just pop right into existence but we're going to switch it off just for testing purposes so we really can watch them spawn and come into life. We can turn it back on a little later and you can see how that works. Uh, do you want to respawn any dead agents? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check force obstacle checking just to make sure that they do indeed look for any obstacles that may be in their path. Now, I'm going to take my loaded invisible output and we'll connect that to the start for our spawn. The only other thing we need is to designate at least one spawn point. So what I'm going to do is back here in our level, I will grab our first navigation point, jump into Kismet, right click on spawn points and choose new object var using game crowd destination 11. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and try this out. I'm just going to right click here on the floor and choose play from here. And there we go. Now you can see these guys popping into existence, which looks a little weird. In fact, some of them I think are popping out through the wall. So we may want to move that forward, but we have a great big crowd which is now running its way through our level. We can stand in the middle of them and they will try to avoid me, which is pretty cool. We can shoot them and by default they're really weak. So you could just sit here and pick them off as they come through. And no more are gonna spawn until a few of them make it to the end and die. So we can chase them down and lay waste to them. But really that's all there is to it. Creating a basic crowd to run through your level is very very easy. And that is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.